What is going on guys, Gareth Collins here, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 4 of the ZX6R Rebuild. In the last video I removed the engine covers and took a lot of the parts for powder coating as well as spray paint at the engine covers. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link in the description below. In this video I'd like to piece the bike back together, start putting the radiator, the engine covers, maybe even giving the bike a full service. Let's see if we can get it to run. So without further ado, let's get to work. All right guys, so before I install the covers, I need to go ahead and make some new gaskets. I will be using this gasket sheet. Seeing as I can't use the old gaskets, I'm just gonna use them to outline the new gaskets and cut them out. And then I will be putting a very thin layer of sealant over the gaskets and then we can install the covers. So let's get to it.
All right, guys, so I actually have to wait an hour for the sealant to dry before I can torque up all of the bolts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on this cover here just to close the hole so that nothing falls inside and continue on the other side so long. And then I'll come back after an hour and I'll torque up all of these bolts. All right guys, I just finished installing the engine covers and torquing them to spec. And I also quickly flushed out the radiator hoses. Now I wanna go ahead and install the new radiator, swap all the old stuff from the old radiator onto the new radiator, and then install this very expensive plastic piece. And by expensive, I mean I paid $200 for this thing. And all it's going to do is cover up this hole over here. So let's go ahead and install everything.
All right guys, the new radiator is installed and it looks a whole lot better than the old one. After installing the radiator, I quickly stopped at the store to get all the supplies that I need to service the whole bike. Now that that's out of the way, I quickly want to change the spark plugs as well as the oil filter and install the whole top air box with the new air filter, so let's get to work. All right guys, the spark plugs are changed, the oil filter is installed and the airbox now. Obviously I haven't thrown any oil or coolant in just yet and that's because I want the sealant to dry on the gaskets for the next 24 hours. I also wanna pick up the tank that I sent in for painting and buy a new battery, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right guys, it's the next day here and I just got back from picking up the tank and it looks great. I'm still waiting for the fuel cap. I have sent that in for someone to make custom tank pads for me and a custom fuel cap. Now let's go ahead and install the tank as well as the new battery, throw in some coolant and oil and see if the bike will run.
All right, guys, everything's connected that needs to be connected for the bike to start. So now there's only one thing left to do. Sounds good. Now for the moment of truth. Very good. Now I'm gonna let everything warm up and uh, let the oil heat up and the coolant heat up. All right, guys, the bike is running smooth and everything sounds great. The fan came on at 102 degrees. Now I'm gonna let the bike cool down for the next 48 minutes to an hour. Then I'll check the coolant level again and the oil level and fill it up if it needs to be filled. All right guys, the oil level and the coolant level has been checked and filled up to the right level. Now I want to go ahead and remove the tank and the air box. You guys have already seen me do that in previous videos, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. So I'll just snap my fingers and remove it quickly. What the hell? Come on now. And now. And now. And just like that, everything has been removed again and you guys are probably wondering why. And that's because all of the wiring that connects from the handlebars and the headlights have to be put away in here nice and neat. So I will be installing the airbox in the next video. I also got the wheels back today and the wheels look just insane. You guys will be seeing that in the next video. I also want to install all of the parts that I've had powder coated. As well as this SC Project exhaust. I think this exhaust is just going to look insane on the bike with these domino grips. They are going to match the fairings, a new cluster cover because this one's just a little bit damaged and chipped. I want it to look brand new as well as aftermarket clip-ons because I couldn't find the handlebar anywhere. Shorty levers, they are foldable, a uh, radiator guard with the monster logo and the fairing stay bracket. And so if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and turn on all your notifications. Subscribing is completely free and it won't cost you anything. Let's try to get 50,000 subscribers. You can also follow me on Instagram. Until next time, peace out.